Writing the next chapter of the human story. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 136. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable, I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 136, November 1st, 2015 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. If you'd like to receive or see more details, more specifics, links to all of the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our newsletter list, or you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the final 50% of the written content for the Emotional States lesson plan to the website, as you can see here. This lesson plan is purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of Emotional States. We additionally completed and added the first 50% of the mind map for the Emotional States lesson plan to the web page. You can see that mind map here. Behind the scenes, we also wrote the first half of the fall lesson plan, bringing the behind the scenes written part of that to 100% complete. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on highest good food began organizing and editing a more streamlined version of our food self-sufficiency transition plan page behind the scenes. We're approximately 10% complete with the behind the scenes remodeling of that page. We also added three additional recipes from Sandra Salani, vegan chef and author of What's Your BQ, to the food self-sufficiency transition plan, as you can see on our website now. These recipes are A, B, and J waffle sandwiches, pasta fagioli, and autumn salad with pumpkin vinaigrette. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team continued working on the behind the scenes revisions for the Footers Foundation and Flooring page for the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. This week included more French drain revisions that we're now coordinating with another partner to update in AutoCAD and edits to the geotextile narrative, which you can see here. This progress brings us to 45% complete with this huge rewrite and update. We also continued posting and formatting the website content for the dome home window and door framing tutorial for the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. What you see here is another 20% of this tutorial update bringing us to 55% done with this new page creation. Last but not least, we completed another revision of the three dome cluster design for the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. This revision included moving the windows and updating the SketchUp, AutoCAD, and Revit files so they all match. The images you see here are from SketchUp. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician 
if you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued updating the SketchUp 3D for Duplical City Center. This week, we focused on reorganizing the pantry shelving and adding additional food and kitchen accessory details. The images you see here show all our progress in these areas, and we'd say we're now 68% done with this 3D work. Iris Sue, industrial designer, continued developing and evolving the pipe furniture designs. What you see here are the sixth generation concept designs for the chairs for the Duplical City Center Library. These chairs will be able to be converted into tables and are designed to be built out of PVC or recycled plumbing piping. Behind the scenes, Mike Hogan, Automation to Systems Developer and Business Systems Consultant, and Lucas Tsui Da Silva, fourth year computer engineering student, continue developing the control systems connector deck you see here. This is a list of parts Mike will be sending to Lucas so that they can both start building, testing, and writing software for the connector deck. And this is a funny picture of me pointing to Mike's connector deck power supply sketch as we test out the drawing function in our collaborative Google Hangout. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true Earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team began refining the information from an international team of legal volunteers working on the details for establishing self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs in their respective countries. You can see some of this work here, and the team working on this includes help from India, Kenya, Nigeria, and Malaysia. Oz Chersky, lawyer specializing in trademark and copyright law, also helped us file for trademarking of all our aspects of our project that we feel are most important to preserve for open source and our global transformation goals. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. Humanity is writing the next chapter of the human story right now. And one community thinks that it makes sense to do that consciously and conscientiously. So our path to accomplishing that is to bring together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all. People that are looking at this process of writing the next chapter in the human story as it's happening right now and realizing that we can make a difference. That we can be the change that we wish to see in the world. That we can impact and transform this story into one that is sustainable. By definition, sustainability means either it will last or it will not last, and most people, I think, agree that right now, the way that we're living is not sustainable. Also, though, most people that are educated and understand what's going on realize that the resources, the technology, the, the know-how, and the desire, and the people exist to turn this story into a success story and to write the next chapter of the human story so that it ends, well, so that it doesn't end, so it becomes sustainable addressing, simultaneously addressing, all the challenges of our generation and generations to come in a way that is sustainable, in a way that will last and will allow us to meet the needs of every single human being and improve life for all people and all living creatures on this planet in a way that will last. And so this is what One Community is doing. And our approach to accomplishing this is through open source creation. We're creating open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living, covering all the aspects of physical sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and combining those with the aspects of what we describe as emotional sustainability, which are highest good education, highest good economics, fulfilled living models, and true earth stewardship. Putting these things together as an evolution of sustainability that we believe will provide a way of living that most people will consider to be an improvement on the way that they're living right now. Our idea is that if we can make this easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it as attractive enough, that the idea will spread on its own. And the idea, the ultimate culmination of everything that we're creating, all the open source blueprints, tool, tools, tutorials, and resources that we're creating, that we want to spread on its own, the self-replicating model, the ultimate expression of what it is that we're doing, is teacher demonstration hubs designed to teach others how to create teacher demonstration hubs too. Specifically, sustainable and self-sufficient teacher demonstration hubs that can bring the resources to the places in the world where they're needed most and demonstrate this way of living, help others to do it too. 
So if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds like something you'd like to participate in, we have a multitude of different ways that you can participate, ways to get involved ranging from the Pioneer Team, which will be the people that move to the property and help build everything that is one community, to our, our consultants and volunteers working behind the scenes to help us accomplish the things that we're accomplishing by just donating, volunteering their time in the way that works best for them. Our entire team is volunteer. None of us are paid. Everyone that works on this project is a volunteer working because we see a better world is possible and want to be a part of writing the next chapter of the human story. We're doing it right now. This is the process. There's so many amazing things happening in the world right now. And, and our project is riding right at the front, at the cutting edge, the wave of change that's happening right now, moving towards sustainability, simultaneously addressing all the challenges that are that humanity is dealing with right now because we see them as not only interrelated, but interdependent. And with that in mind, we see a comprehensive model as the only way to truly, truly address everything in a way that is sustainable and will have the ability to impact all life on this planet within our lifetime. So this is what we're up to. People ask, what's the easiest way that I can help? The easiest way you can help is by sharing our information on social media. We're on all the different social media networks from Facebook to Twitter to LinkedIn to Sue to Reddit, Tumblr, Pinterest, and a whole bunch of others, about 15 additional social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to share our information, get the information in the hands of as many people as possible so that the people that are most interested in what it is that we're doing can see what we're doing. People that have use for the resources that we're creating can start putting those into use right now. And so that people that are interested in helping us would like to participate, see what we're doing, and can. We're creating this idea. We're writing this next chapter in the human story in such a way that everybody can participate. Because as it's unfolding, it's all about reaching that tipping point of participation. From our perspective, the moment that enough people are participating, that it has the ability to touch the lives of everybody, we will live in a different world because we will touch the lives of everybody. And so we're trying to reach that point. We're trying to clear away the barriers. And that's why we talk about making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating it's attractive enough. Because if we can do those three things and the model becomes self-replicating, a self-replicating model, if you run the numbers, has the potential to transform life on this planet for everybody in less than three decades. And so we want to get that process started. Of course, the biggest thing that would help us right now, the easiest thing is to share our information on social media. But the biggest thing that could help us right now is we're still seeking large-scale funding. As I said, we are an all-volunteer nonprofit organization. So if you are somebody who has the resources or knows somebody with the resources to help fund one community, to help us get the property off the market that we have been looking at for five years now, that we've been working around this location for five years, I'd like to purchase a specific property so that we can start working on the ground and take our whole creative process to the next level, finish our pioneer team, and actually start building. If you're somebody who has the resources or knows somebody who has the resources to do that, we would very much like to speak with you. Either as a donation to our 501c3 nonprofit organization or, of course, as an investment in one community. We have the ability to write the next chapter in the human story the way that we want it and the way that we know is possible. It's a matter of participation. It's a matter of making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating as attractive enough so that the ideals are on its own. It's a matter of creating a duplicable model that demonstrates a way of living that most people will find to be better than the way that they're living right now, and making that model such that it's specifically designed to teach other people how to create self-sufficient, self-sustainable, and self-replicating models as well. This is what one community is doing. So, as always, thank you for following our progress. Thank you for the small donations that we get. $5, $10, $25, $50. These things go a long way with us because we're an unpaid organization. And so there's a lot of expenses running a global organization like ours. And those little donations help to cover those expenses. Thank you for following our progress, as I already said. Also, thank you for sharing our information on social media. If you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an update to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. If you'd like more details, more specifics, and links on all of the information that I've talked about in this video and all of our progress updates, you can visit our written blog at one community, or at our written blog at onecommunityglobal.org forward slash one dash community dash blog. And uh, of course, until next week, we will keep on Keep it on. Thank you.